Good morning everyone. In this new video tutorial I want to show you how to make this huge maxi shawl. After I'll show you how to open it up, I've decided to call it Noel. This is because the stitch I used is a variation of the romantic knit and is very reminiscent of Christmas trees, but also little hearts. Furthermore, the shawl I used, which is this one from Stanley Yarns Shaded Supple Lux with Gold Moss, is reminiscent of Christmas colors because we have this green that resembles moss, this white that tends towards beige and all with a gold lame that unfortunately you can see better here. Look how wonderful it is, it's very bright. You can't see it very much from the camera, but I can assure you that it's really bright. I love it. As you can see, as I was saying, it's huge. I used only one shawl and my maxi shawl came out about 102 centimeters high and about 200 centimeters wide, or 42 I think. Anyway, I wrote it in the description, so don't worry. You can see the length clearly in the photos, but it's really exaggerated. In addition to this one that I used as a cake, there are so many colors. I also find this one very Christmassy, it's called Duplo, because we have gold and this brown that reminds me a bit of the wood of the houses. Look how wonderful. Or we have these colors that are among the most classic, like this one with light blue, gray or this one with gray, purple. But in addition to these colors, you can find many other ones on my Elsa yarn website. And you can find it both shaded like I did or also in a solid color. So I'll put both links in the description to go to the website where it takes you directly to the shaded one and the single one. I only worked one cake. Realize that it has 900 meters of footage and I worked exclusively with the three and a half crochet hook. As I was saying, this is a variation, that is, I adapted the romantic stitch to the one we did with the tiles, precisely, to create this shawl. And of course you can also make a bactus, maybe buy just one cake, make two more because you can easily make two. You can make one with these lighter shades and the other with the darker shades. Now I'll take it off so you can really see how big it is. Look how wonderful it is. It's fantastic and then, as I told you, the technique I decided to use is especially fantastic. So, as always, I'll put it on like this. Here we go. As always, I'll leave you with the video tutorial. Please, if you decide to make it, as always, Send me your photos either on my Facebook page Crocheting with Elsa or on the Facebook group Freedom to Crochet and Spermo. Or you can tag me on Instagram where you'll find me as Elsa Facio. And as always, we'll see each other in the next video tutorial. To make our maxi shawl, I decided to use these fantastic kilometer long cakes because they are 900 meters long by Sen which are called Self Lux Sfumato. The color I chose is moss which, as you can see, starts with this very dark white and then goes to a beige and ends with a green. But here we also have other colors. Look how beautiful this one is. Instead we have this one with a sort of beige on the gold and this brown on the outside. Or we have this one with shades of the sea and gray or this one that instead has a purple that tends towards gray. But on the site you can find many others. Now, however, I won't do the work for you. I can show you how to work with the yarn, because, as you can see, we start with white and I know that white bothers you anyway, since we already have a white work. So I will work with another yarn so that you can clearly see the various steps. So let's start, don't worry because it's very simple, there are three rounds that always have to be repeated and I will work with a center and the three and a half. The yarn I chose is also thin, we work with the three and a half. So let's make a magic ring. Inside the magic ring, we are going to work three chains that are the first double crochet. I'm going to go back in another double crochet, two separation chains, excuse me. One and two. I'm going to go back in two more double crochets. One two I'm going to close the magic ring, then at the end I'm going to hide the yarn. I'm going to turn around with the work, I'm going to go between the two double crochets and we're going to do the second round. Excuse me, this was the base round, so let's go and do the second base round and we're going to work one single crochet and two chains that are the first double crochet. 
I'm going to go back in another double crochet. Separation chain, I'm going to go into the arch of two chains and I'm going to work three double crochets, so one, two and three. Separation chain, I'm going between the two double crochets and I'm going to work two more double crochets. One and I'm going back in two. I turn around and make my third basic round, so I go between the two double crochets and I always make a single crochet and two chains that are the first double crochet. I go back in another double crochet, a separating chain, I go where I have the first of my three double crochets and I make three double crochets, so one, two and three. A double crochet over the second double crochet, three double crochets over the third double crochet, so one, two and three. Separating chain, I go between the two double crochets and make two double crochets. One and two, I have finished the third basic round like this. I turn around and make my fourth basic round. Inside the between the two double crochets I always make two double crochets, so single crochet, two chains, I go back in a double crochet, two separating chains, I go over the first of my seven double crochets and I make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, I go into my seven double crochets. So one, I've made five double crochets, I skip two, then I go into the fourth and I'm going to make a single crochet. I take the yarn, I go over the last of my seven double crochets, again to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, two separation chains. One and two. I go between the two double crochets and I'm going to make two double crochets. One, two. I've also finished my fourth basic round. Now we turn with the work and we start our three rounds that must always be repeated. So inside between the two double crochets I'm always going to make a single crochet, two chains. I go back in a double crochet, a separation chain. In the arch of two chains I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, T, three, three chains, one, two, three, I go where I have the single crochet and I make a double crochet. 3 chains 1 2 3 I go where I have the arch of 2 chains and I make 3 double crochets. One, two, three, separating chain. I go between the 2 double crochets and make 2 double crochets. 1 2. I turn with the work and go to make the second round. So I go between the two double crochets, single crochet, two chains, return, double crochet, separating chain. In the first double crochet I go to make three double crochets. One, two, three double crochet over the next double crochet. Three double crochets over the last double crochet. One, two and three. Separating chain, double crochet over the double crochet. Separating chain and we start again three double crochets over the first double crochet. One, two, three double crochet over the second double crochet. 3 double crochets over the last double crochet, 1, 2, 3 separating chain, 2 double crochets between the 2 double crochets, 1, 2, 
We turn with the work. We go to make our third and last round. So we always go between the single crochets and between the stitch between the two double crochets and make single crochet and two chains. We come back. Double crochet. Two separating chains. I go where I have the seven double crochets and over the first I make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet over the fourth double crochet. Five double crochets over the last double crochet. One, two, three, four, five separating chain. I skip the double crochet. I go directly to where I have the first of my five double crochets and I go to make five stitches of my seven double crochets and I go to make five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five single crochet over the fourth double crochet. Five double crochets over the last double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, two separation chains. I go between the two double crochets and make two double crochets, one and two. So, as you can see, as the work increases, these sorts of hearts and little trees will increase. In fact, here we had one heart, here we have two and here we have our first little tree. Now I'll show you the first round again because I'll show you how the groups of three double crochets and the double crochet of the first round alternate. So we turn with the work and still between the two double crochets we go to make single crochet, two chains, we go back double crochet, separation chain, arch of two chains, we go to make three double crochets. One, two, three, three separation chains. Where we have the single crochet, we go to make the double crochet. Three separation chains where we have the end of one heart, the beginning of the other. So between the two groups of five double crochets, we go to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Three chains and again a double crochet where we have the single crochet. Three chains, three double crochets in the arch of two chains. A separating chain and we finish by making two double crochets inside the arch of two chains and then we turn the work. Again we will make three double crochets over the first double crochet, two stitches, one double crochet over the second, three double crochets over the third, one chain, double crochet over double crochet, chain and again three double crochets, one double crochet, three double crochets, chain and so on. So I'll show you in the actual work that I'm doing. So as you can see, you see here, the hearts are getting wider, there you go, so you can see it better. I had one, I went on to have two, three, four and of course you always have to remember that when you go to do the first round you have to have an alternation of three double crochets and double crochet. You see, three double crochets, double crochet, three double crochets, double crochet, three double crochets, double crochet and we finish with three double crochets as we go along. So we will have more and more hearts, as you can see here, and more little trees. The important thing is that they always alternate and this must always be done from the first round. The other two rounds are the same because then we will always make our little hearts and the group of three double crochets on top. Remember, you always made between the two little hearts of the previous third round. Having said that, I will now finish making my maxi, my maxi shawl and I will tell you at the end how long and wide it is. So, I have finished my maxi shawl and it is really huge.
Look here especially how wonderful it turned out with the shading. Fantastic, I like it a lot. So, from the tip to here, so from here to here it's about 102 centimeters, while from the outermost tip to this other one it's about 21 centimeters. So it came out really wide and exaggerated. I like it a lot and then it's still light because the yarn is thin and it's really shiny. Look here how wonderful. So this creation is also finished. 